I got to take a deep breath. Haven't been sleeping too much. I called this in a live stream yesterday. Guys, I am not being dramatic. This is an, a one, a one and a lifetime opportunity that's happening literally as we speak. Altcoins are about to dominate Bitcoin. We are about to see one of the greatest explosions of altcoin season we have ever seen in cryptocurrency. I am not being dramatic. I want to say this twice. I am being honest, truthful, and transparent. In this video here, we are going to be talking about three altcoins I recently sold a lot of Bitcoin for. We'll dive into the actual fundamentals of the project. We'll dive into the marketing, the product, the team. I'm telling you right now, altcoin season just started and you need to pay attention. Keep watching. Guys, when I say one in a lifetime opportunity, I really mean it. I'm talking about a one in generational chance. We don't really see things like this. The chances of us being alive are slim to none. The chances of us being in one of the greatest uh, transfers of wealth mankind has ever seen as slim to none. And the chances of being in all of that while in an altcoin season where you could easily 10 to 20 extra portfolio in a short amount of time. Like, I don't know about you, but I'm grateful for life. We need to be talking about altcoins right now and I'll show you exactly why. But before we jump into the video, guys, do me a favor, smash that like button. I'm telling you right now, um, it's going to be life changing gains that are going to happen for me. I don't know if it's going to happen for you, but you need to follow up everything I say uh, with your own research. You need to look into these for yourself and drop everything else. I need your full attention. I need you guys fully paying attention to what's going on in cryptocurrency. Guys, it's, it's, it's time to step away from part time, right? It's time to get in this seriously. I am not overhyping this in no way, shape or form. I woke up today at, you know, 3.50 in the morning to research these altcoins. This is a one in a lifetime opportunity. Pay attention. I'll dive into everything. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. But first, let me explain to you why I am so crazy. I've been talking about it in my live stream yesterday. If you want more details, look at that. But I'm just going to regurgitate it here. This is the top 100 altcoins versus Bitcoin dominance. So what that basically means is when this chart goes up, the top 100 altcoins by market cap are doing better than Bitcoin. When the market goes down, the Bitcoin is doing better than the top 100 altcoins. As you can see, since January of 2018, they have been losing. The top 100 altcoins have been losing to uh, Bitcoin the whole time. And you could see this that happened before, right? But then there was a massive spike. Now, remember, this is the top 100 altcoins. So this is an index. This is not one coin. This is not one coin. This is a basket of 100 coins. And this is 2,000%. That's a 20x on a top 100 altcoins in comparison to Bitcoin. What I'm telling you right now is I don't care what this, you know, margin trading strategy. I don't care about leverage trading. I don't care about options trading or any type of day trading strategy. This is more lucrative and you need to pay attention. You need to drop everything. I'm telling you right now, the gains are going to be out of this world. And I'm going to prove that to you because we just broke out of this four year trend. Look, I'm talking about or three year trend, excuse me, or whatever you want to call it. 1,106 day trend or even more than that. We just broke out. We just broke out. And we didn't just break out. We broke out strong with a lot of volume. I told you yesterday I've been waiting for this, for a super confirmation. It's not extreme confirmation. We can have a reversal. But I'm telling you, I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I sold a lot of Bitcoin. Look, we broke the all-time high that we had before right here. Okay, we broke that. We broke this four-year, three-year trend. We broke right through it. This is the four hour, guys. This is the four hour. If we look at the one hour, it looks strong. It looks strong, right? We're jumping to the upside. I tried to open CoinGecko today. The website's down. Gas fees are increasing. These are signs that people are going ballistic into all coins. We can even look at all coins for today. and We can see that a lot of them are doing already, already doing extremely well. Pay attention. Ethereum's up 7%, about to pass the all-time high. Pay attention. We're in Filecoin already. We made some money off Filecoin. I've talked about that in the past. Web3 is getting a lot of money allocated to it. Again, pay attention. Please look at all coin season last time. Look at all coin season last time. This is in 2017. Where I got this information from is I simply just looked at the time frame where we popped off before. So if I go to the daily, you can see we had this massive spike. We had this we broke out of a downtrend. 
this long, we broke out of it and I, and I quantify this massive spike, right? If we look at the dates, look, February, 2017. So I popped open, as you can see, February, the end of February, right? Um, the beginning of March, Look at these gains, 50%, 46%, Ubic, 29%. Look at these gains, 71% Blocknet. Look at these gains, right? This You're not going to get this with Bitcoin. Look, 133%, massive, massive, 130, 103. This is, again, I'm telling you right now, this is 24-hour percentages. Look at the seven-day percentages, 323%, 139%, 384%. I, when I, I was not understating this. I've just been waiting. I, I've been waiting to make a top altcoin video because I don't want to do it at the wrong time and people ha happen to lose money. Of course, none of this is financial advice, but I wanted to time it at the perfect strategic time. In this channel, I'm going to go back to back altcoin videos, low market cap, undervalued altcoins, high market cap, safe plays, back to back. You know, this is my specialty. My cycle trading strategy has made me a millionaire by the age of 26. I've been investing in cryptocurrencies for seven years. I've been able to 150X some of my investments. I invested in Ethereum at three to $7. And now I'm telling you right now, from experience, we are about to have one of the biggest altcoin seasons we have ever seen. One of the best money-making opportunities in the past four years. We, have, we go to this website right here. They're calling altcoin season index. I called this a while ago, but they're calling altcoin season here. Guys, I am not the only one to say this. I'm sure other YouTubers are saying the same thing. It, it's, it's time. It's time to make a lot of money. Let me add to that though. Before you guys jump into some altcoins, look at the total, you know, look at the total market capitalization of all cryptocurrency on a daily. We're slightly going up, not a lot. We're going up a, a you know, a good amount, right? We had a large daily, uh, not even like if you look at a daily, we actually kind of rejected sideways, right? We, we had some, not rejected, we moved sideways, right? A little bit sideways, uncertainty action right there, uncertainty, right? But look at the total excluding Bitcoin. The total excluding Bitcoin broke out of this wedge. Now it's a little bit sideways as well, but coins are already popping off and people are already starting to make notice. We broke the all-time high. This is the total excluding Bitcoin. So this is the total market capitalization. All the money flowing into all coins broke the all-time high. We broke the all-time high. We are going up to the 1.618 level. So that is a lot of money being injected into the market. That's 32% on an index, on an index of every altcoin excluding Bitcoin. That's a massive jump. Look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin's not doing too well. It's just sideways action uh, to the bottom, basically. Uh, so this is obviously adding for the case of altcoins. Bitcoin's going to bleed in dominance to these, these cryptocurrencies. It's going to happen, right? We're seeing it a lot. Polkadot. We've been talking about Polkadot on this channel a lot. Look. We're seeing a massive jump. Look at this jump, 28% in nine days. It's just, if this doesn't scream altcoin season, to be honest with you, I have no idea what is going to make it for us, right? We have, like I said, NFT platforms launching with big time influencers. I'm talking about big rappers. I'm talking about big YouTubers. I'm talking about famous people are screaming cryptocurrency, 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 NFTs, NFTs, NFTs. The last altcoin cycle, which was a mini cycle in my personal opinion, wasn't even big, was fueled by DeFi. DeFi is increasing in value. Now NFTs are fueling the next altcoin season. It's literally happening. It's happening. And I need you guys to pay attention. So let's jump into the actual altcoins and let me stop stalling. So the first one, uh, is going to be layer two solutions on Ethereum. Remember, these are just three altcoins we're talking about now that just came across my desk, right? I'm going to be putting out more altcoin videos because the money-making opportunity is absolutely ridiculous. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be doing, a, you know, trade 1,000 into 100,000. I'm going to try, right? It, it doesn't always happen that way, but if I get 1,000 to 10K, I'm sure you guys would be happy with that result, right? But I'm going to do a trading challenge from 1,000 to $100,000 in cryptocurrency trading. So pay attention, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm dropping that video series. I'm gonna update you with all the trades I make, right? But as you can see, again, all coin season is gonna just start. But the first coins I wanna jump into is the layer two scaling solution. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because they actually recently postponed the launch date on Ethereum. Optimism now estimates uh, the main net on, in July. So we still have a lot of time before they actually roll out um, scaling solutions on Ethereum, on Ethereum. We have a lot of time left. So I've been looking at projects that are layer two scaling solutions now. And one of them, I would say it is undervalued, 
but it's more, it's just safe, right? It's number 90, 93 on coin market cap. We're talking about the t- top 100 altcoin. OMG has been out for a very long time. They started in like 2017. I remember from back in the day, but I can't show you guys a chart. Uh, coin Gecko is having issues. Um, guys, very simple. The value transfer uh, layer for ERC20 tokens. Uh, projects on the OMG network run faster and cheaper without compromising the security of Ethereum. That's the great part about them. Ethereum scaling is here. Um, this is just a layer two solution that's going to be like, it's probably going to pump. A lot of them have already pumped. We've we've called a lot of them on this channel already. Um, like we've been in Polygon or Mactic Network like a long time ago. I probably, that's probably one of my best trades, probably like 15X our money. I, I won't be surprised if these layer twos continue to do well, right? The hype alone is going to make these happen. Now, I'm not going to talk about this on a fundamental like programming level because it's all coin season. It's speculation time. People are jumping into things for whatever reason. It doesn't matter. What, but what I do know is it's pretty undervalued and it just broke out of this you know, uh, triangle here. We have this massive break to the upside. We have a 15% jump. Now, this is on Coinbase, so they have a lot of liquidity, guys. They have a lot of liquidity, right? This is not you know, uh, altcoin number 6,432. Look how many exchanges they're on, right? I wouldn't be surprised if this pumps similar to what we're seeing here. Massive jumps. And we're talking about big, big, big boy jumps. I'm talking about 800, 1,000% jumps, right? This can definitely happen with OMG. And I wouldn't even be surprised if it reaches its all-time high, um, you know, relatively soon, which is a huge jump. I'm not talking about little jumps, guys. Let's let's look at OMG, for example. They're not showing the chart here. Um but if we look at, for example, all-time high was at $25, at $0.35. Cents. Guys, right? Guys, pay attention. This is massive, massive multiples. Massive multiples. And this is a strong project. You can put a lot of money in it and, and rest assured it's going it's to be relatively safe. Now, of course, altcoins in general are very risky. But OMG, like I said, is a long time. It's been here for a while. They've been they've been solving problems for a while, and they, their team is pretty good. Your business layer on top of Ethereum, they have enterprise solutions, right? For big businesses, they obviously have a, a you know a strong community. Um, the only area they're pretty much lacking is marketing, which is not a bad thing. You want to look for projects that are not the best. Like you don't want to find the ones that are like the be- like has you know firing on all cylinders in every aspect. You want to find the ones that have like a little issue that they can solve. And the marketing is the one variable that they don't have uh, that they should definitely take a little bit more serious. But if we jump in, like I said, asymmetrical opportunity, even just to the recent all-time high, just like the recent all-time high that happened in September 2020, right? Just that one, just that one. That's like a 800% increase, 800% increase, massive multiples, 825% increase. So even if we just get there, which by the way, again, like I just said, it has like 100x potential. We've had... The, the all-time high was at like $25. We just saw that, $0.35, cents, right? This is a 100x opportunity right here. Pay attention, right? If we look at it against Bitcoin, this is a rising, this is an ascending triangle, which is extremely bullish. I wouldn't be surprised if it breaks to the upside because we're losing dominance to Bitcoin in general, okay? Cheap, secure, fast transaction speeds. I'm not going to jump into the layer two specifically because you guys should already know what it is. And I'm sure you've already done research on like Loom Network and some other layer two scaling, Polygon. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. But as you can see here, they actually have a wallet, right? A working product. Okay. If we go to their Twitter, uh, top three updates from our latest engineering blog. Their short-term goal is to increase overall usability and utility of Plasma version one by building, integrating more DApps. They're trying to get more into you know the decentralized uh, uh, finance, maybe or decentralized ecosystem in general. We're making a DEX that makes front running impossible, ensuring a level trading field. Always more details to come. This is crazy. That's pretty interesting. Uh, we, we released a sample front end to make it easy for everyone to try out the system and understand its capabilities. Guys, they're upgrading the protocol. Let's just understand a little bit more. This is from their actual tweets. The OMG network is best known as an Ethereum scaling solution that benefits from Ethereum security guarantees. However, the dApps that this person is building on the OMG network show that OMG isn't just a scaling solution. Hashcast, a broadcast slash describing messaging protocol, and Varna, a privacy preserving DEX, are two examples that use more than just Plasma scaling capabilities. Hashcast uses Plasma's metadata field to store hashes that point to clear text and encrypted payloads, right? They use atomic swaps coordinated through Hashcast. Basically, what they're saying is that it's all in one, right? You can launch a a decentralized app on OMG and get uh, features that you wouldn't get trying to do it yourself, right? Uh, Varna and Hashcast are just 
early examples of the possibilities enabled. Guys, they don't have, once they start adopting more decentralized apps, right? That's all it takes for them to do a little bit of marketing and adopt more decentralized apps. The hype comes, we get our 800% short-term, long-term, we could easily get, you know, like a 50 to 100X. Varna is already in beta with some of our most active community members. Can't wait to share it with you as well. Just some information updating people. Now, if we look into the actual team, their team is actually pretty good. Um, we have the chief executive officer here has a lot of experience, right? A founder of other uh, companies has been a chairman for OMG for a long time, right? Uh, founder and chairman, uh, director, uh, some good experience there. Um, we have more experience, right? Uh, founding partners. These guys are just the Definity, right? Investor in Definity. These guys are all over the cryptocurrency ecosystem. They're OGs in the space. If you look at these people, they just have a lot of experience. I'm not going to dive into it too much. This video is going to be way too long. Um, but like, just look into it for yourself. Like I, like I said, I want you guys to provide your own research for yourself. Uh, I don't want to just throw everything at you, but again, I've looked into it for myself and these guys have a lot of experience and girls, they have a lot of experience. Uh, this is actually the, the founder here. She doesn't have a picture. She should have a picture. Um, but you know, an investment analyst for world bank group, um, consultant for IFC, the, just a lot of experience guys. Uh, been you know doing this for three years. They've they're an OG project. A lot of people know about it in in their mental uh, when it comes to specifically psychology. Back in 2017, and they made a lot of people a lot of money. And they're going to be looking for these coins in some cases. This will be the safer play out of these top three. Now, as we move down, we're going to get more and more risky. So bear with me. If we look at the marketing, this is the only place they lack. They're getting about 272 thousand views last month. Right. But if you look at, for example, Loom Network or Mac, oh, I'm sorry, if you look at Mactic Network, which is like a competitor, they're getting 435 K. But the thing is, this this already pumped like a lot. Now, it, it got listed to Coinbase. It did the whole pump. Right. So it can continue. Don't get me wrong. It's, a, it's still a smaller market cap in comparison to OMG, from my understanding. I haven't looked into that specifically, but I will say that OMG is the sleeper. OMG is the one that hasn't really done numbers. Uh, so I think it's more asymmetrical and, and a good opportunity to make some real money. Again, like I said, OMG is one of those where you don't have to, you could put a lot more money, uh, you know, instead of finding market cap coin with like less than 50 million, right? This is one you could definitely uh, add a lot of liquidity. Again, like I said, their marketing is not that good. They only have 9,000 members in their Telegram. Their Reddit's pretty small as well. If they fix these variables, more people start coming into the market. I would not be surprised if this layer two scaling solution starts doing some crazy multiples, considering people have already made a lot of money off of layer twos in the past. And considering this is an OG project, it's I've talked about it before. It's just, it's about that time. This is the time where top hundred altcoins are going to shine against Bitcoin. We're going to see massive percentages. Pay attention. Number two, number altcoin, number two, Bondly. Now, again, I know this might be you know, if you guys want like the, the hidden market cap gem, if you want like the alpha, like if you want like the low market cap, wait to the end of the video, we have one for you. But I want to get straight to the money. Not It's not always about finding a new project. Sometimes it's finding the ones that have already been doing very well. And Bondly has been doing extremely well. One of the biggest factors, I'm dropping an NFT course and, and fundamental secrets relatively soon, um, like a mini course, a crash course in NFTs. One of the biggest variables to me when it comes to finding a good project in an NFT space, which uh, by the way, everybody knows NFTs are going to be a massive thing. So this is within the ecosystem of an, of an emerging trend that's happening right now. Right. But one of the biggest variables that I look for is the ability to acquire new influencers. Now, of course, if you have already a pool of influencers that are doing well, it's going to be much easier for them to reach out to others to, you know, compare and contrast. So you guys know they had a NFT launch with Tory Lanes, right? Logan Paul. Right. They have two big people already. OK, these people made a lot of money as well. So they could easily go to other artists, other influencers and say, hey, look how much we made with this guy and this guy. You could do the same thing. Um, and their ability to acquire more is going to be great. Also, their interoperability is phenomenal. They can go to pretty much any blockchain and they're making it happen uh, on a, at a fast rate. I believe also the founders of this project um, were part founders or a part of the uh, polka dot team. So they have ability to adapt and create new projects. Uh, and, and they've been doing it for a long time, guys, just pay attention. They've been a very aggressive with this roadmap and, and been executing on all levels. They have full NFT marketplace being sold on NFTs, right? They have a card game, polka pets. Um, they're, they're, you know, launched on like on polka dot, like we talked about bondly is still pretty undervalued. It's only a hundred million in market cap guys. 
pay attention, right? You don't always want to go to like, you know, how is how do you say it? You don't always want to go to like the market caps under 10 million. You want to find something that's already pretty good. That's probably going to grow more. I would not be surprised if this gets to a billion dollar market cap when NFTs start exploding, right? So that's an easy 10x from where it's at now. It's only 100 million, right? So it's an easy 10x right there. Look, five NFTs sold out in five minutes. He sold, uh, you know, 1.3 million in 30 minutes, right? So just understand that they have big, big, big influencers, right? They have huge influencers already and their ability to get more is just going to make it easier, um, you know, in, in the future to get more. Now, if we look at the actual team, their solid uh, managing partner, vice president, director, analytics team lead, massive experience there. If we go to the bottom, we, this is Brandon. He's the CEO. Um, he's obviously has a lot of experience in the background. The three people I kind of picked uh, just to do some quick research. Guys, just keep in mind, like, like, I don't know how to explain this, but their team is pretty good, right, uh, in general. But we're looking at the co-founder of multiple companies, as you can see here, head of blockchain security. He's also the technology officer at Bridge Mutual, and now he's currently working uh, with Bondly. So that's a good thing. A lot of uh, blockchain experience uh, there for sure. Now, we looked at the marketing team, the marketing associate now for, uh, you know, Bondly. Uh, director of events. He has a lot of marketing, a lot of marketing. Guys, this video is going to be way too long. I have a checklist. And when I do this, I'm not going to show you guys on the video. It's going to take too long. But as you can see, 30,000 followers. Uh, they have just launched, as you can see here, excited to partner with Global Photos to release never before seen images of Frank Sinatra, Marilyn Monroe, Elizabeth Taylor. I told you it's going to be easy for them to get big time clients. This is a big time client right here. Look, 553 likes. The, the NFT space is getting more and more popular. Are the All these art collectors are going to start jumping in, people. They're going to start jumping in for sure. They got, look, we're excited to announce our next three NFT launchpad events, right? It's just crazy. I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but like, it's just crazy how much they've been able to do in such a quick amount of time. They only have a $100 million market cap. They can easily get to a billion, 12,000 members in a telegram. Definitely something to pay attention to. I wish it was more. I wish it was close to like, you know, 60,000 or something like that, you know, but... I mean, it is what it is. All right, for the last one, uh, probably the one you all been waiting for, this is the low market cap gem. Now, to be honest with you, by the time you watch this video, it's probably already taken off. Look, it's already pump pumping pretty well. I got in like yesterday, so I'm up like 23%. Um, but as you can see, only 7 million, 70 million in market cap. It's called Pokemon. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because like I told you guys, the NFT marketplace is, is it's just going to be crazy. These NFTs are going absolutely ballistic. Now, if we look into some of the Tokenomics, public sale, they sold it at 35 cents, listing price 40 cents. Uh, they had a strategic sale, uh, vesting, uh, post listing, a daily vesting period over 90 days. So just be careful with that. They're giving some to the, the team and advisors, marketing, uh, liquidity tokens. This is relatively uh, basic. And people do this all the time, pretty much. Uh, their supply is relatively low. Circulating supply is only 1.8 million. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if this pumps. But this has like all the features of like, you know, the perfect, pumping nft platform there's not a lot of fundamentals you can lay on this except for the team um and stuff like that and we'll go over a little bit they definitely do have credibility but what i'm trying to explain to you guys is that these guys like have pretty good marketing like they know what they're doing as you can see here they have ultra rare nfts high liquidity token hyper deflationary they have a staking cross-chain capabilities they pretty much check all the boxes uh, when it comes to specifically tokenomics and fundamentals, right? But when it comes to the team, we got full stack uh, software engineer. CEO is an engineer, so that's pretty good. Uh, founder of multiple fast growing mobile app businesses. We have ridiculous experience, guys. Um, they know what they're doing. Now, the reason why I'm launching this now is because it's getting a lot of hype and buzz. Now, it's crazy because like we went from like, you know, straight fundamentals analysis in my course. You know, we're looking at DeFi projects in comparison to the product. How is the product doing? Now we have to move a little bit faster. It's a little bit different now. Now it's like more of like where the hype is going. It looks like, at least for today, this is where the vast majority of the hype is going. Uh, they, you know, have a Pokestarter IDO, guys. They just got listed on Uniswap yesterday. Um, you know, they're going to be creating apps uh, so that you can have your collections displayable on your phone and show your friends, which is right up, you know, the alley for pretty much... You know, every kid, like that's what's going to happen. We're going to get to the point where we have these little kids, instead of showing like this binder of cards, they're going to just pop open their phone and show, hey, look, I got, I own this, this, and this. Um, and this is like kind of my personality. And I have, you know, this card of this influencer and it shows that I like this influencer or I have these Pokemons or, you know, whatever the case is. So this is interesting. I think it's really important to look at. Um, this token might pump, okay? The team is definitely 
I would say, uh, experience. Uh, you know, the the supply of the token is not too big. It's only 1.8 million now. Um, this is probably like a quick in and out, though. It's probably like a quick in and out. Uh, so just pay attention. But that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. I wanted to get this video out as quick as possible. You know, I usually dive deeper into these coins. If you want me to dive deeper, join Fundamental Secrets. That's where I do that. Um, as well as, you know, just way out for more of my videos. If, if Leave a comment below if you specifically want me to talk about a coin. Uh, I'll try to make a video about it as soon as I possibly can. Again, leave a comment below and we'll dive deeper into it. And I will make more altcoin videos. Just pay attention, guys. I've been able to do this in the past. I've been waiting. I've been holding out on those altcoin videos for this strategic moment right here. And now I'm going to be picking them. I'm going to be picking them. Alex here, quick update, quick announcement. Guys, I have a new community number. So I got a second phone. You could directly text me. I'm answering all questions. My new phone number is 954-758-5473. Again, that's 954-758-5473. I'm answering all comments. Go ahead and text me now. Let's have a conversation. That's it for this video. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, if you don't get with it, you will get left behind. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one.